And good afternoon everyone and welcome to my Formula 1 2019 career mode, Season 3, and this is part, well now this is part 54 because the, the previous one that, which you watched was the uh, German Grand Prix was part 53, so I do apologize for that. So now we're in part 54 of the Hungara Ring Circuit, uh, one of my most hated circuits in the Formula 1 calendar, the Formula 1 Hungarian Grand Prix. And if you missed the previous one, uh, which I told you, the hunk, I mean the German Grand Prix, be sure to check that out on youtube.com slash speedjpo3. Well, it was uh, a very uh, rainy and uh, dry uh, qualifying, but the fastest time we've had was 1 minute 15.743, uh, and we've always struggled here at the Hungara Ring, but... Uh, but a little too little too late uh, at the end of the practice too, so we have failed to practice number three, so we ended up in P14. And also the McLaren cars have struggled here at the uh, Hungara ring circuit. And then we'll start in, uh, I'm starting right in between those two in P13 and P12. And my teammate Valtteri Botes looks like he got the pull uh, for the final qualifying effort. So we have a lot of ground to catch up, so let's see if we can try to catch up and... Uh, make it up there. We have done this before in the first season with Racing Point and we moved all the way up to the lead and then won the thing and that was during the rainy uh, session but we don't have to worry about any rain during the race so the race is going to be entirely clear and cloudy so anyway let's get on the, with the Hungarian Grand Prix and let's hope we can catch up Well, let's see if uh, we get our gifted uh, grid penalty swell. It's always wonderful to come back to the lively Hungaro Ring, a popular destination this nice and close to the beautiful city of Budapest with some exciting racing to boot. Who can forget Michael Schumacher pushing his old teammate Rubens Barrichello up towards the pit wall in 2010, or those great races of 2014 and 2015 as well. 14 corners then for our drivers to navigate at the 2.7 mile Hungaro ring today. It's six lefts and eight rights around the lap here, with average speeds in the region of 120 miles per hour. Also here, of course, is Anthony Davidson. Let's talk about Hawk. They're starting towards the back of the field today in a car that is fast. So they'll be disappointed, won't they? They'll have a sinking feeling as they look up from the cockpit and realize they're in a different postcode to the start line, for sure. But the one positive they can hold on to is that the car is quick and they can make their way through the field. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Stephen Butler will lead us away from pole position and it's Pierre Gasly in P2. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Verstappen, Bottas, Sergio Perez and Leclerc. Holcomb, so Valtteri Bottas will start P4. Stroll, Hamilton, Weber, Sebastian Vettel, Hawk, Albon, Magnussen, Daniel Ricciardo and Daniel Kvyat. Raikkonen and Roman Grosjean sits at the back of the grid and with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. So P14 we're going to be starting because everybody else, uh, only one car took a grid penalty, but... Uh, okay, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down. So we are having a bit of a struggle here in P14. We are going to take two soft tires because we didn't take, we only took one soft tire. So that means, uh, and this race will last for an hour and 31 uh, minutes. And I don't know why the Hungarian wing is not letting me uh, uh, fill up the fuel load. It, it's filling me up at 7.6. It should be giving me more than that. It looks like they got it fixed or something. Yeah, I'm trying to re remix my fuel load. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have to maybe manage it because we only have a 0.6 in my, in my fuel load. 
So let's see what we can do. We'll try to see if we can move up into the field. Now we're starting in P14. Well, we're going to have to manage fuel because they didn't give us uh, an extra boost of fuel because we started way back in P14. It looks like they got the fuel load fixed. So we're going to be on a bit of a struggle here, but we'll see if we can try to move up. And then you see Lucas Weaver and Sebastian Vettel. Uh, I feel sorry for them that they have to go back to the field too, and they have a lot of catch catching ground to do. Now we're going into our formation lap. Let's uh, keep our fingers crossed and see if we could try to uh, move up into the field. And same goes with Lucas Weaver and Sebastian Vettel. We're, we're all fast with, with our uh, with our top units. All right, here we go. And we are underway in the Hungarian Grand Prix. If you see Alvin passing by, I may not be passed by too much by some of the others, but let's see. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We're going to have to slow down here. <laughs> Lucky that time, and I move up into P10. I already passed around the McLaren cars. Remember, these cars are slower. Nico Hulkenberg has dropped into seventh. See, I'm trying to get around Lando Norris. That's a dangerous move to pass. Okay, that's a good start. Keep it up. Still in P10. I'm, I'm in points paying position right now. I move up into P9, I get around Norris. It seems like my teammate Botas is now leading this race. Yeah, he's up into P2 right now, right behind the uh, the two Red Bulls. I'm passing right now on the outside of George Russell, because hope he gives me the room. up into P8. It 
see if I can try to get around Hulkenberg to battle for P7, and I do. Yes, I do. I'm now into P7. I'm trying to get around uh, Sergio Perez, that's the battle for P6, and I do get around them. P6, I'm doing a great job in traffic. And Botez is just trying to get around, this is the battle for the lead right here, here comes Devin Butler. This is a dangerous move to pass right here. And I'm around Butler and I'm out into P5. Man, I am doing a great job. I started 14th in the race, and I'm now into P5. And I'm catching up on McLaren, who's running in P4 right now. And look at this, and the McLaren cars are moving up as well. They're in P8 and P9. I got the fastest time. Number 20. Here is my teammate Botas trying to get around one of the Red Bulls. And Botas is now trying to take the lead away from Gasly. He can't do it. Trying to get around the cleric. I'm not going to get him around there. Man, luckily I didn't have any wing damage. I just tapped them. No wing damage. That means I do not have to use a flashback. I did. I got around him cleanly. And I'll make sure I don't want to hit for stopping. And now my teammate Voltas is now in the lead. And I'm already up into P4. I could be getting P2 around here. We have DRS. Still no wing damage. I made contact with Gasly. Again, trying to get around Gasly. This is the battle for P2, and he's... I got it. What a nice move that was. And now I'm behind my teammate, Valtteri Botas. This is the battle for the lead. I can't believe it. I am now in the lead, and it took me only five laps to pass 14 ca 13 cars, and I'm right behind Valtteri Botas for the lead. And remember, Botas is not going to have any DRS. He's going to struggle without DRS. And we're still under Rich Mix. With the full setup with the R&D, now I manage my fuel, fuel pretty well. And under, under the nose of Valtteri Botas. And I will have DRS. Here I come with DRS power. Here comes the pass. And I will take the lead here at the Hungarian Grand Prix, one of my most struggling racetracks. I am now in the lead. Meanwhile, the McLaren cars, they're moving up.
Look at this, and for the first time, without a flashback, I take the lead here in the Hungarian Grand Prix. Unbelievable job. I did a superb job in traffic. But now I'm right behind my teammate, Valtteri Botes, so it's a 1-2 Mercedes AMG race here at the Hungarian Grand Prix, the second time in a row that we have gone 1-2, and two, and I'm pulling away from Valtteri Botas. about 3.4 seconds ahead of my teammate Botas. Verstappen is now running in third place. He just got around his Red Bull teammate Pierre Gasly. Because Gasly has now moved down into P5. He just got passed by uh, Charles Leclerc. He has a faster car. And we can spend 19 laps uh, on tires uh, here at the uh, Hungarian Ring Grand Prix. I'm already 4.8 seconds ahead of uh, Botas. Man, that was a lucky maneuver that was uh, earlier in the laps. I thought it was going to use the flashback, and uh, I'm already pulling away from Valtteri Bottas because he's losing ground on the Red Bulls. But look at it. Here comes those McLarens. Uh, they're coming now right behind uh, Nico Hulkenberg. I have never had a very fast car here at the Hungarian Grand Prix. We know we are fast, but look at this. It took me five laps from 14th to the lead. 
because we know everybody else uh, struggled, and we could stay under Rich Mix uh, under the, the entire race now that we have full R&D setups. And my car is just handling like a bullet. It is handling so beautifully out there. So if I can continue this great pace here at the Hungarian Grand Prix. I'm very well surprised that my uh, full setup on this car is just absolutely unbeatable right now. But everyone else was slow because they set slow reputations on their cars. And the McLaren cars have been, we're pulling away from the McLaren cars and the Red Bull is still running in third place. But remember, he's got a lot of pressure of dirty air coming up on Charles Leclerc. And I've already got 9.1 seconds, and look at this, for stopping is closing in on uh, Botas. I'm already pulling away through the field with a 9.1 second lead over my teammate, and then for stopping is in third. And Charles Leclerc gets around Max Verstappen for P3. Charles Leclerc in the Haas car, now in third. And Devin Butler was the pole sitter for this race, and the Ferraris do good in the rain, but they don't do good in dry pace. But we do have one slow car coming up uh, that is running the slowest out there in the Hungarian ring. That looks like it's one of the Reynolds. The Hungarian ring is the fourth shortest uh, circuit here in the Formula One no calendar. Able to run in this engine mode much longer. We're about a lap over target. Drop down to mix too soon.
and I've been running a minute and 20 for the last 14, for the last 13 laps actually. Thirteen point eight two four seconds already on Valtteri Bottas. I'm really flying over here in the Hungarian ring. I think the word struggling over here isn't going to be anymore, but it's still one of my struggling tracks if I go to new teams or, or to another one. We knew right well, Ferrari did have the pace in the rain, but they did not have the pace in the dry, and they were in full position. That was a surprise that first time Devin Butler, uh, it's the second time Devin Butler has got the pole, but he has dropped way back in the field. Because Ferrari is way down below on the speed progressions. Meanwhile, Gasly has now just gotten around Leclerc. That's a good battle for that P3 spot. Pierre Gasly and the Red Bull. They run very good here in the Hungara ring. rental cars is going into the pits. And Botas goes into the pits, but remember we don't have to pit until lap 19 and we have a fresher set of soft tires. And Botas goes with the mediums. And look who's running in third hollow while Sebastian Vettel in the McLaren. And they started from 12th and 13th, and uh, now the McLarens are moving up. We see Verstappen coming in. And I know this is still early in the race, but I'm having a terrific start so far here at the Hungara ring. I started from 14th in the race, and it just took me five laps to, to move up into the slower cars in the field. Because remember, those were the back markers that were in the field, and then the Williams were in the back of the field as well. It looks to me that was Romain Grosjean because remember he started dead last in the race because he had to take the grid penalty for changing the gearbox. But he's still struggling and he still uh, has a bad uh, rental on his uh, on his car. <laughs> 